Welcome on Responsible People. It's time to look at a Google Sheets portfolio tracker that I created for my dividend stocks. Um, as you can see on the dashboard, we have today's performance, all-time performance companies, company sectors, and a bunch of other dividend data. Um, and the stocks for market cost versus the value of the stock. Um, it's very unique. Uh, at, most of it is completely automated. You can see as an add transaction tab at the top. I have two scripts currently running in the background. Um, you can see right here that we have the annual income of the portfolio broken down over month, weekly, daily, 40 hour work week, and the total dividends received today. Got the biggest loser, the biggest winners, and the cash currently held in the portfolio. This portfolio is specifically for my M1 Finance account um, that I'll be making an update on shortly. If we scroll over to the positions tab, as you can see, we have the stock and the name of the company. Then you have the shares and all the other necessary data that I think is most useful in a portfolio trackers. The sectors, betas, weekly highs and weekly lows, all of the transaction data and 365 days. This part specifically is interactive. So I can make this 50, and then it'll give me 50 days as a percent, go down to 10 days, give me 10 days as a percent. So this part is a uh, variable. When you move over to the transactions tab, we look at all the stocks in my portfolio, all in alphabetical order. Um, as you can see, it says dividend, buy, sell, split, deposit, withdraw, drip, and adjustments. And all of this has a script running in the background to be able to change it up as I wish and all you got to do is put in the quantity price the total is already there at this add transaction tab you can come here add a transaction the script will start running you could put in your stock um, you don't need to capitalize it it'll automatically capitalize it um, just in case you want to use it and then you can put in see buy sell dividend etc and we're gonna buy Apple and then quantity, let's say we want to buy 100 shares. Obviously, I'm not that rich yet. Um, and then we'll put a price of, let's say, 130, because why not? And then the date, we'll put today's date, which will be March. Again, doesn't need to be capitalized. 6 slash 2023. Hit OK again. And the script will take a second to run. And as it runs, look at that, it's already finished. We'll go down here to the last one. Do, 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 do. Right here, 100 shares quantity at a price of 130 shares, $13,000, R6, and it's a buy. And then if I go over to the positions tab, it'll update the positions tab. Now you see my market value jumped up to almost 20 grand, and the total return is almost at 3,102 shares, average price, etc. Go back to my stock. Now it jumped up, obviously all the data has changed, and we can go over transactions. I'm just going to delete that as well. And so this is completely interactive with this end transaction button right here. And so I want to show you guys if you guys want to do this yourself. If not, I'll be putting a link in my Patreon in the future for you to be able to just download this spreadsheet. But um, this is the code for the FIFO. and this will be able to give all your dividends and portfolio information. And this over here is the add transaction button so that we can add the stock price, the shares, and the date. And so when we come over here, let's cancel this, cancel this, etc. Move over to the data. Over here we got the data tab where we have the months over the course of my portfolio lifetime. Obviously, you can adjust this. This is all manually inputted. This is automatic. C, C, C cell is automatic and D cell is also automatic. Um, so is the E and F cells. The dividends per year just adds the, all these up. And same thing here. And so the drip shares, when you put in drip shares, um, you can come over here to transactions tabs and you put in dividend and you put in drip. When you put in the drip, then it'll obviously update this, and then it'll calculate it into how many drip shares you actually have. 
when you come over here. This was built by another YouTuber that I watched. I thought this would be useful just to add to the portfolio. Um, I didn't build this myself. I just kind of made it all together in the color format, etc. And so you can see the stock and then a bunch of data about the stock and whether or not you should buy or sell the stock. And then you come over here to the models that it's using and you could use the discount cash flow model, grams valuation, multiples valuation, and discount model. <laughs> and so all these intrinsic values and etc. will be put into this screener and then I'll give an output. You could put the margin of safety. This is variable as well. And then I'll give you an output for the buy price. And so I'll tell you if you should sell the stock. Obviously it's not perfect, but you know, I think it's a little nice touch. And so, yeah, this portfolio tracker has been in the works for quite a while because I wanted to make sure everything was up and running and all the data is up and running. Google Sheets, obviously, you know, it sucks when it comes to loading sometimes, but everything is working. If you can come over here, I added this tab as well. This is where I get all the sectors and then I just pull them over here. Wish there was a better way to do it, but I haven't seen any videos online as to better ways to get the sector. And so I have an if error for basically all the um, data so that you'll be able to keep your numbers if any errors pop up. And same thing about the here. And so, yeah, this is the portfolio tracker, guys. This is going to be a quick video. I just wanted to go over with you guys. Um, I'll be putting a link in the description in the future for the link to the portfolio. And it's only going to cost $2 because, I mean, why not? I've wasted like 15 hours on this portfolio. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a great day. See you guys.